couch Dogs need the lesson Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. And in this video, we're gonna discuss musical storytelling. What does that mean exactly, musical storytelling? Musical storytelling, in my opinion, is the most important aspect of musicianship. And it's something that um, actually most people say that it can't be taught. It's either you're born with it or not. And I say bullshit, you can teach musical storytelling, you just have to find the right concept on which to focus. And um, I'm gonna try to do that in this lesson. Now you know the soloing and improvisation playlist right here on Lick and Riff, if not, you're missing out. It's probably the best thing here. Um, I advocate, you know, from, you know, the moment you pick up the guitar, to always experiment with music and try to create and improvise and play around with whatever it is you know how to play. Um, because then you'll be able to talk the musical language and express yourself better on the instrument in instead of just playing fixed patterns and uh, compositions. If you know how to improvise, you're actually talking the language. Um, so that's why I continuously make sewing and uh, improvisation lessons. But um, I still get a lot of questions. I still get a lot of emails and in the comments section as well, a lot of comments asking, um, I have no idea where to start. And the simple answer is just start where you are. Just take the knowledge you already have and start playing around with the rhythm, change the order of the notes. And this keeps confusing people anyway. So I say focus on storytelling. Just here, listen, I, I'm gonna give you plenty of examples in a moment, but I wanna tell you what I mean first. Just listen, okay? Instead of focusing on the counting, on the rhythm, on the scale notes, on the chords, on the embellishments, on the, the, the certain type of chords that you have in the, in the scale, in the key, um, you know, in the progression, in the song, whatever. Just focus on the story, the story the music wants to tell with that specific set of notes. And let's listen together. If you listen, if you, if you actually try to, to hear what the chord progression tries to tell you, you'll start hearing the options. And then when you just change the order of the notes, you'll get variations on the story. So in this video, I'm gonna try to teach you how to story tell how to tell a story using music, and I'm gonna use several chord progressions to show you what I mean. Um, no fancy soloing, just the chords, okay? That's, that's the basis of everything, the harmony, okay? And once you apply rhythm to the harmony, you have a story. So let's take, first of all, a very basic chord progression. C, G, A minor, and F, okay? This chord progression, okay? or C, A minor, F, G, okay, in any order, C, F, A minor, G, okay, no matter in which order you put these chords, these four chords rule the world, and that's because you can tell many stories. If you take a slow rhythm, you have a certain type of story. Not even adding extra notes. Did you hear the story? Could you, you know, visualize a visual, you know, to add to that, you know, a video clip to go along with that? If you change the rhythm completely, start to see what I mean. Now let's take a different chord progression. Let's take a unique chord progression because if you have uh, the key of uh, A minor, then you can use F and G. But what happens if you turn this into an A major chord and still use F and G? You get kind of a modal thing. Okay, all of them are major. You hear this in endings. Okay, sometimes you have a, mi a minor F G. 
And then when you want to end the song, they end on A major. So let's let's take that sound, A major, F, and G. Okay, so again, slow, let's start slow. Not too complicated. See? A certain type of story, a certain type of emotion. But if you, um, if you take it into Travis Bacon, for example. different story and if you take this into yeah okay, uh, you know just a blocky kind of sound then it's a completely different expression it's a completely different story so if you listen to the story it's easier to express yourself you you put all those concerns I, I told you before in the background and you just focus on the story the music wants to tell. And some of you may still say that this sounds simplistic, but it really isn't because it takes your focus into what's really, really important, the music you want to make, instead of the technical aspects of everything, which always, you know, solid the fun. So um, let's take another uh, chord progression. You know, you have, again, A minor. So the natural D chord there would be D minor. Okay, so... Okay, and you can pull off the one off of the first and second strings and create sus2 chords. Um, but what happens if we take D, you know, a Dorian sound? Then... like the Dorian mode. She's more partial to, uh, you know, to mode. You see, a completely different musical story than the minor one. That just take a take a pick. Okay, it's kind of the same story, but in a different direction. And uh, if we add. F sharp bass to the D and create a D over F sharp. Just one bass note can change the whole picture. Okay, two on the sixth string, along with D. See, just one bass note changes the whole story. I'm not using anything but the chord notes and sometimes just opening the E string with D or the B string with A, right, with A minor. I'm not doing any single note soloing. I'm just using the chord notes. See how much, you know, how much story you can tell with just two chords? It's just two chords. 
Um, so I suggest you check out the soloing and improvisation um, videos and just choose whatever sounds good to you, whatever exercise sounds good to you, because what sounds good to you will make you enjoy the music more. So uh, that's musical storytelling, using just chords. You don't need anything else, basically. Um, everything is in the harmony and the rhythm. The moment you add rhythm, you have music. So uh, experiment, 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 experiment. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Enjoy. Thank you.